Hello and welcome to The Reds. Here you'll find all the latest news, the match information, the transfer speculation and just about anything that's happening at Anfield. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you want to keep up to date. Liverpool confirm signing of midfielder Ace. Liverpool were desperately seeking a midfielder to resolve their injury crisis, something that got worse when Jordan Henderson joined the list of those on the treatment table after the match against Newcastle on Wednesday evening. And they finally found one in the last few hours of the transfer window in Italy. The Reds have confirmed that Brazil international Arthur Milo from Juventus has joined in a season-long loan deal. The 26-year-old completed the signing and signed a contract after a medical after speaking with Jurgen Klopp. However, the loan move does not include an option to buy. Arthur moved from Barcelona to Juventus in 2020, where he has been sidelined for some time. He's made 22 international appearances for Brazil, which speaks of his quality, and he is undisputedly a top talent. However, he's controversial and unpredictable, but he does have the potential to be a very exciting player for the Reds. The Brazilian told LiverpoolFC.com, I'm really, really happy to be here wearing this great shirt with this famous badge that represents so much in world football. It's a dream. We talked a lot and our ideas and visions were a good fit, so I'm sure it was the right choice. I'm really happy and highly motivated to continue living my dream on the pitch and giving my all in a Liverpool shirt. The news of Arthur's signing came out of the blue on deadline day, but will sorely be needed to strengthen the injury-hit squad. It's been a disappointing summer for the Reds, as the purse strings were kept a tight grip of, but Jurgen Klopp knows the way the Liverpool owners work, and now it's over to him to produce a championship-winning side. Let's take a look at the full full list of who's in and who's left Anfield this summer. So incomings are Darwin Nunes from Benfica for £64 million, Fabio Carvalho from Fulham for £8 million, Calvin Ramsey from Aberdeen for £6.5 million and Arthur Milo from Juventus on a loan deal. Whereas the outgoings were Sadio Mane from Bayern to Bayern Munich for 35 million, Takumi Minamino to Monaco for 15.4 million, Neko Williams to Nottingham Forest for 17 million, Ben Davis to Rangers for 4 million, Owen Beck to Familico on a loan, Tyler Morton to Blackburn on loan, Divok Origi to AC Milan on a free transfer. Loris Karius was released. Shea Ojo was sent to Cardiff on a free transfer. Reese Williams went to Blackpool on loan. Ben Woodburn went to Preston on a free. Elijah Dixon Bonner was released. Louis Longstaff was released. And Connor Bradley uh, went to Bolton on loan. With Jakub Oniski uh, went to Radio Miak Redham on a loan, and Billy Comitio went to Austria Vienna on a loan. Marcello Pitaluga went to Macclesfield on loan. James Balagazi went to Crawley on loan. Vitislav Jaros went to Stockport on loan. Tom Clayton went to Swindon, and that's not been disclosed how, and Leighton Clarkson went to Aberdeen on loan. Paul Gletzel went to Tranmere on loan. Owen Beck went to Bolton on loan. Fidel O'Rourke went to Carnarvon Town on loan. Jack Byrne went to Kidderminster Harriers on loan. Max Waltman went to Doncaster Rovers on loan. 
Is there anybody left in the squad? So, the transfer talk is over and now it's time to let the football take centre stage. Next match is the Merseyside Derby at Goodison Park on Saturday afternoon as Liverpool visit Everton. And that's your latest news from Anfield. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you want to keep up to date with the Reds.